When the steel industry in the UK was put up for sale, one politician gave up his holiday and came to South Wales to support the steel workers. That gentleman was Jeremy Corbyn. I wasn't really interested in the Labour Party before, but for the first time this is a leader I can really get behind. He's a decent, principled man that seems like he really cares for ordinary people. Do you accept inequality and injustice in society? Do you accept that people are homeless? Do you accept the massive gap between the richest and the poorest? Or do you do something about it? As far as leadership, he is a great leader, without a shadow of doubt. As a former British soldier who served in Afghanistan and lost friends there and in Iraq, I support Jeremy Corbyn's opposition to the wars. I trust Jeremy to keep us safe. At the end of the day, the economy's got to work for everybody, which is why we formed the basic idea, and it's a big one, of having the state, a national investment bank, which will ensure there is a fairness of investment across the country, because there are former mining communities in, in the Midlands, in the Northeast, in the Northwest, and in Scotland and Wales, that have seen very little investment since the end of the coal industry in the 1980s, have seen endemic levels of underemployment, low wages, zero-hours contracts, and skill levels that have not been met. Our small businesses, which sometimes are actually very innovative, high-skilled jobs, high-skilled ideas, grow to a certain size, great, then they need to develop. And what comes along? A hedge fund, buy them up, sell the ideas to somebody else and close down the local enterprise. We will ensure everyone in work has the right to join a trade union, rights to be represented, rights to holidays, rights to a decency and fair pay. So we will ensure there is a £10 an hour living wage for everybody in this country. If we don't invest in training nurses for the future, so the loss of the nurse bursary means that there's fewer nurses applying to go into nursing in the future, the high cost of um, medical courses at university all means that you deter people from doing that. Bring our so NHS back to, to us. Publicly run, publicly financed, publicly employed National Health Service, not an internal free market. We have a housing crisis of mammoth proportions in Britain. We're building overall fewer properties than any time since the 1920s. Uh, we have a rise in the number of street homeless, we have an increase in overcrowding, we have enormous pressure on local authorities. And we have a property market that means that um, the, those on average or middle incomes are being forced out, forced out of many of our big cities. Instead of a country that's becoming more and more unequal, we look to a society where everyone can achieve the best for themselves. But I love this country. I love the history, the beauty, the diversity of this country. But people are not at ease. There's inequality, there's injustice, there's anger. There's anger because people can't get on. There's anger because people can't get anywhere to live. There's anger because young people are not getting the jobs they want. Let's do it differently. Let's do it differently where we work from the principle that the role of government is to give everybody a decent chance to have public services that are there for us, to have an economy that works for all. Not easy, any of this, but surely that's better, much better than food banks, people sleeping on the streets, schools collecting money from the parents in order to pay the teachers. Surely the effort of a government that works for all and encourages society to work together has got to be better than a government that works for the few and allows health to go down, allows income inequality to grow. I think our tradition is of people coming together.